Welcome to Shivering Timbers Dojo. Today we're going to continue our deep dive into Tatori Jiu Jitsu Orange Belt Tip 6. We moved on to the shoulders and the head today. We're going to do our single hand front push defense and our two hand front choke. If you recall uh, from before, we've done uh, several versions of the two handed push. Uh, now we're going to do a one handed push. This one handed push is a little different. In previous arts and previous methods, we've redirected. Now we're going to accept their push and uh, bring them with us. Uh, for the two-handed front choke, again, uh, just like before, we're going to basically redirect their force and get behind them. <laughs> so let us start with the single hand front push, the shoulder technique. From the shoulder, this is Katate Osu Tori. The single hand push technique. And this is from somebody who's really coming in, just like that. So you come in and they push, you grab, you pull out of the way. Grab, pull out of the way. Alright, let's talk about what we do. When we pull, and I'll do it here, I'm going to do a full speed here in a moment. When I step back, I'm going to step back to my knee. It is a bit of a disadvantage to be on your knee when your opponent is standing, so you have to make sure that the grip is solid. Once the grip is solid, you know you have them, then you go down to your knee and you pull them off balance and out of your way and get out. So let's talk about powers. If, if she pushes at me, push me. Push me and move me. Oh, there we go. So I could fight it. We can we get in this fight. Now, my opponent is considerably smaller than me, but were my opponent my size, well, I'd have to put a lot more into that to make it even. Yes, I don't want to make it even rather than fight it. I'll bring with, and all of a sudden, all that power they put into you goes with. So that's what I want to do. I'm not X-blocking. I'm literally blocking to the outside. Just like that. Now, let's check this a little bit. Full power, I'm going to go down. Other side. Oh, you alright? Yep. So, that's the idea. Your whole body weight whew, launches. Now, again, I'm very big and I have a small opponent, but let's see if she can launch me with any distance by using her entire body weight going to the ground and knocking me well out of the way. Let's get this over just a little bit. You ready? This hand. There you go. You got me moving. One more time. I'm gonna put some I'm gonna put some force into it. Same hand. So you just you just let me put all that force into it and just send me on my yeah. Oh yeah, there you go. Good job. <laughs> Good job. Same thing, other side. It's all that force. Where are you going? Right back there. There it is. One more time. That's looking good. I'm really going to, I'm going to knock you sideways, yeah? Don't let me. Ah! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so, The purpose of this move is when they push in, don't be there. Get out of the way. Get your body out of the way. So as you come back and go down, whee, we're pulling them with us. Other side. The body out of the way. Now again, if I pull down here and stop, oh, this is bad for me. <laughs> oh, right? So you have to make sure they're going to push you. They're going to, oh yeah, that, all that power going that way, let them. They wish to go that way, humor them. <laughs> Give them what they ask for. So one more time, nice and easy. And then, boom, down we go. Left side, come in, down we go. But they also from the head, this is Ryote Kubi Hazushi Shin. So this is the two-handed front choke escape. So 
Yep, they could. Two hands, one neck. The escape constriction. So how do I escape from here? Well, first things first, turtle. Make like a turtle. But for the purposes of instruction, I'm going to have my neck normal just so you can hear me talk. But yeah, first things first, when they grab, don't let them. <laughs> my fat armor helps. All right. Secondarily, step back, jam your two fingers right in the hollow of their throat. As they're doing that, yeah, turn one way, they're going to fight it, turn them right here into the choke. There's your constriction. All right, the two fingers, hollow of the throat right here, one finger over the other support, in and down, <coughs> and it's immediate. So, we're just going to touch very nicely in class not hurt our okay it does work if you don't believe me come to class <laughs> it works i'll show you all right so she chokes <laughs> from here i break that now i push one way they're gonna fight it turn them into there turn them into that choke yeah get them to turn themselves into the choke Push them hard one way. They're going to fight it as soon as they do. You go back the other way. <laughs> Let them do the work for you once again. Right. Turn. They fight. Okay. Sit. Just like before, go to Right there. One more time. Let's do this full speed. You ready? Combat speed. <laughs> ah, wait. Did you know which way I was turning you? No. Did you get confused? Yes. Exactly. And if you're confused, can you fight it? I'm going one way, then go another way, and then go wee! Indeed. Is it beautiful? No. Is it effective? Yes. And that's the whole point. So as she comes in, I say no. Now you notice I can do this in the eye dot as they're coming for the choke. You're going to see this thing coming from the front. She's blocking that. Good. If she's blocking it, she's not look looking at me. She's not seeing what she's doing. And I can grab the nose if I have to. You know, the whole point is I'm messing with something. What if I don't like the throat? Fine, go for the face, do something. Now she's not choking me. She's playing around games, trying to like, ah, oh, I don't like that hand on my face. Exactly. Turn, she's gonna fight that. Here we go. All right, now, I am big and I do have longer arms. So let's see if I choke. Now, if I choke the very extent of my long arms, she can walk, ah, oh, still get my neck. Two. If they're choking you like this, congratulations, you've met Frankenstein. Fighting with fire, fire bat. But to actually have any strength for the choke, they're going to have to get in a little bit, and that all of a sudden. <clears throat> now she has room to choke me. Secondarily, you notice I'm taller than her, so as she pulls me into that choke, she hits that knuckle in the back right there, make my back come out, pull me off balance. Yes? You ready? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Gets her head inside, goes for a choke. Yeah. Yeah. Very well done. She is small. I am big. If she does not overbalance me to the back, if she does not pull me to the rear, I could conceivably take a choke and throw her out of me. Let's do that. <laughs> oh, she didn't get that. Oh, she goes. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> so, it is imperative to get them lean back. Now do what you're supposed to do. You know how to do this. One. Yep. <laughs> follow. Don't follow me. <laughs> if your opponent is overbalanced, he's going to fall. Let them. If you can hold on while they fall, do it. But in any case, if they're falling and you're not, hey, good for you, yes. So again, as they choke, right to here and down, it makes makes that. So I've got one hand here, one here. If I poke just a little bit, they're gonna fight it. And I can pull them right into here. Again, pushing off balance. She's off balance, get out of it. 
<laughs> I can choke. I can go to a throw. I can do whatever I want. So, two handed front choke. Good job. That was Tadori Jiu Jitsu Orange Belt Tip Six from the shoulder and the head from the single head push and from the double hand choke. If anybody chokes you from the front, be it single hand or two hand, they should not be able to. I like that one because with the push and the turn, you can be against a wall. If they are pushing you into something, <laughs> you can still reach out and touch them. If you need to, you know, work to get their attention elsewhere, kick them down low and then hit there, fine. But most people, you touch that throat, it's an immediate reaction, and they're going to immediately, if not let go of the choke, they're going to stop and consider what they're doing because they don't like that, and then you have the opportunity. Second opportunity, if they're pushing at you, absolutely grab them and hork them that way. If you don't like these, if you say, hey, this doesn't work against resistance, I, try it with resistance. These are both excellent ones to try versus resistance. Just be real careful with the touch in the throat right there. It, it really does hurt. It really will put somebody down. I've, the only person I've ever met who I couldn't you know, immediately get to react with that was damn near seven feet tall and well over 400 pounds. Um, even so, it took a second and I could get it. Most of everybody else, it's immediate. It's, it's a nasty little reaction. If they drop their chair and they're blocking it, good. Because they're considering that and they're not choking you. So, work with resistance. If you still don't like it, come to class, see what's up. In the meantime, y'all stay safe. Thanks.